Well, this is a lovely boat. I really like her. She's called Jessica. She's a 55 foot trad built in 1991 by um, Liverpool Boats and fitted out by Bridgewater Boats. And she's undergone a refurbishment by the current owner. The current owner, by the way, is an actress on the TV show Doc Martin. So, um, yeah, if you like that show, it's a bit of interest. She's been well prepared for sale. She was last blacked in July this year, 2022. The engine's just been serviced in August. There's a survey, a hull survey available from 2020. There was some minor pitting on one of the sides of the boats. So that's all been dealt with and spot welded. The paint, she's been repainted very well this, this summer with two coats of primer and aqua steel undercoat ready for repainting. So the paint works in well good condition and ready for a sort of glossy finish. Really lovely boat, lots of space, very cosy. Good size well deck, that's four feet eight inches long. There's no gas in the forward locker, that's on the back of the boat. There's a little locker there in the front, you can just see the door there. The storage under each of these lockers in the well deck. Quite good size lockers, land lines in there and other bits and pieces. And at the moment there's a bag of coal in there with some, looks like ballast. So it's a nice outside area this. Glazed front doors, glazed front bulkheads. It's a very light boat actually. And then we go. I love this boat. Tongue and groove painted to the ceilings and cabin sides and it's bam, um, birch ply below the gunnels and the floor is fabulous. That's tiger bamboo. That's a sofa bed, a click clack sofa bed. So it's a spare double berth. If you need one, it's a more so squirrel solid fuel stove. Storage under the steps here. The water tanks under the well deck, it's integral, don't know the capacity. So it's all freestanding furniture in here. There's a little shelving unit there in the corner, a little armchair, some stools. And there's a bank of four drawers here for a good storage. And there's a table. It's that board on the under the gunnels there. That's a table that attaches to the um, kitchen unit. It's a fold-down dining table. It's not been put back yet, but it could be. And into the galley. The saloon, by the way, was 12 feet 2 inches long, and the galley is 7 feet 4. The cooker. It's a Caller Choice 4-burner gas hob oven and grill plenty of storage under here still bits and pieces left on board some of this will be cleared out some of it, some of it will be left stainless steel sink little shelf up there the worktops are laminate and here's the fridge it's a 12 volt shoreline there's an ice box in there it's got everything you need in here and there's a side hatch Opposite with the roof hatch. That adds light and air. And that's a view down from the galley. On we go. Now this is a lovely area. It used to be a dinette. That obviously could be in reinstated, but it's a it's an office at the moment. The desk there with the bank of six drawers, I think it is, to the right. The washing machine is the other side of it. That's an AquaCycle three and a half ki um, kilo washing machine that runs off the landline when you're plugged into shore power. So you could do lots of things with this room if you didn't want it as an office. Reinstate it. There's a dressing mirror on that wall and into the bathroom. Ceramic sink, big mirror, decent sized cupboard underneath. The loo itself is a Sealand Traveller pump out. It's a good size this bathroom, it's six feet long. The shower cubicle is enormous, it's all tiled. There's a curtain, thermostatic mixer taps. Lovely this room, feels quite posh. And then the bedroom. The bed's really good size, six feet four inches long, four foot six inches wide. The storage under all of it. It's a massive storage under here. The reading lights above the pillows. 
From the foot of the bed, this is a storage compartment thingy. Don't know what you call it, to be honest, but that's what I'm calling it. And then through the door into the stern cabin. So this houses the engine. Recently serviced, August 2022. It's in here, it's a Vetus 1.4. The batteries are in there. There's 210 amp hour domestic batteries and 190 amp hour starter battery. All quite accessible in there actually. Lots of navigation equipment. So on the wall here is the battery charger. There's a galvanic isolator. Out onto the stern deck. So central heating on the board. There's the view from the helmsman position. The central heating is now the gas boiler. That's just about to be serviced next week. So that'll have a full service. That's connected to three radiators. Hot water is heated by the alder, the engine, or there is an immersion heater with a timing system on board. All the lighting's LED. There's a galvanic isolator, I think I mentioned that. And she comes with loads of uh, navigation equipment, including an anchor, all the ropes, windlasses, pins, pole, plank. I've not mentioned the electrics really. Um, 230 volts, there is a Victron Phoenix pure sine wave inverter, 375 watts on board. There's also a landline. And the gas bottles, they're not in the front of the boat as they are normally. There's a locker on the port side of the boat, on the stern deck, just behind the um, controls for the engine. So they're, they're sat at the back, back end of the boat on the left hand side. So there we go, really lovely boat, really cosy, really cottagey. Makes somebody a lovely home, a holiday home. That's Jessica. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.